All right, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Guys, today, as you can see, we're in the home office uh, looking at a couple videos. This duck season is coming upon us. I know you guys are just as excited as I am. It's here, it's finally here. It's two weeks away for me. And because of that, I'm getting really fired up. I'm getting to hunt in three states this year, Arkansas, Missouri, and of course, Alabama. So if any of you guys are gonna be in those areas, hit me up. You can message me on uh, Instagram, Hunt by Coop. I'll put it at the bottom there. But what we're gonna be doing today, guys, in the next couple of weeks until duck season gets going is we're going to review some of the hunts from last year and I'm going to narrate them a little bit tell you what we could have done better what we could have done worse because that's what gets me excited studying duck hunting and really learning how to do it and no better way to learn how to do it except for look at your own failures uh, so guys this is a video you guys really liked it uh, it was a good hunt it happened to be opening day of Alabama last year me and a couple guys we went out we scouted a creek uh, we found a lot of birds in it. I say it's a creek. It's called a creek, but it's right off the main river. It's a big old wide creek, and we we're in the back of it on a mud flat. I'm out of the boat blind today. We had been scouting this for a couple days uh, prior to duck season. I remember about this hunt, we had to weather the storms pretty bad. They were It was raining pretty good this day, uh, but there was a lot of birds in the area, and obviously we had a great hunt. So guys, stick with it. Stay tuned. And let's get started. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we've been out here working. We've been out here slaving for like three hours. It's shooting light right now. Uh, it's about 60 degrees. We just had a front go through. That's why we're a little late. It's been raining, um, but we're set up now. There's ducks flying. So y'all stay tuned because it's going to be crazy. They did it right twice. Mm -hmm. that, that's the second time they were in our damn face, like this damn blind. Oh, they never did it. Oh, it was All right. There we go. There we go. So to start the day off, guys, we've been, the, the first thing that happened was we were, we were getting buzzed by a bunch of buffalo head this day. Uh, there's another group in the creek hunting to our right, uh, which is actually to our west, um, and they got shooting before us. Uh, but these buffalo head were spinning around, spinning around, and uh, we had just, you heard me in Houston talking, we had just passed on a group that we probably should have shot, and then this group landed behind the blind, and we were able to knock one of them down. One or two. I got one on that came in quick. What are they? They were those divers that were circling. Here comes another group. It's hard to see, but he's coming from the from the east, east to west. Uh, shot him right over the decoys there. It was another buffalo head. It was a group of buffalo head. I think we only knocked down one. Right there. Shoot him, Nate. That was a great shot. The, some for some reason the GoPro was messed oh, up yeah, on my he head. Shot that one. head. It was going. It, it was going to the Watch north, and he just picked up his gun and smoked it. Yeah, that see it. It's dead right there. You shot it. How the fuck? Close your eyes, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. To provide a little context to this hunt. Uh, we had to weather the storm a little bit, so we got out here a little later. We did all the work, but the front moved in right before shooting light. So we're starting out with a seven mile an hour south wind, which is direct opposite. But as the day goes on, the wind's going to shift, and we th we feel like it's going to be a pretty good day. We got three buffalo heads on the ground. We're going to get back at it. The ducks are flying good. So those were all buffalo head there that we had killed. We killed three. There was a bunch that actually came in that, we, you know, buffalo head are one of those that are really hard to shoot. They fly really low to the ground and they're really small uh, and they fly really fast. But um, so we killed three buffalo head and then, then chaos breaks out. Guys, you just got to check it out. Here they come. That geese right over the top. We're just, I'll shoot him. All right. So there's a lot to unpack here, okay? Obviously, guys, we're hunting in the boat blind. 
uh, which means we're in the boat. So we're not standing on solid ground, okay? The boat's rocking around a little bit. And what's hard to tell from this footage, and part of the reason why we're doing this show today is because I was already standing up in the blind facing backwards. So I was facing north looking at the geese as they were flying in. Uh, we heard them from a while away. They came over the north trees and got really low uh, right over the blind as you guys saw, but I was already standing up facing them. But what happened was then Houston noticed that the geese were coming and when they got within shooting range, everybody said, turn around and shoot. Well, I was already standing up. So when everybody jumped up and turned around, uh, to point the gun it threw me off balance completely and the boat was all shaking and and that's why i flipped head over heels uh right out of the boat <laughs> right out of the boat took a swan dive right into the cold water and the other funny thing about this guys is y'all saw how many geese it was eight or so geese that came in and we knocked one of them down that that was the embarrassing part because they were so low it was such an easy shot and we knocked one of them down and newsflash I was convinced off camera we talked about this I was convinced I shot it okay just like everybody else but one beautiful thing about these videos is that you can go back and slow motion it and I definitely did not shoot it uh, we don't know who shot it but we know it wasn't me so it, that means it was either Nick or Houston on this one we had a fun laugh uh, about that within our group but guys that was definitely something you good? Oh, good. What happened? I did the same thing he did. I just caught myself. Did we kill any of them? I shot, yeah. Yeah, there's more. Here. It's loaded. Hold yeah. on. You good? Water in your waders? Yeah, but... That's all right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just... Is the blind broken? No. Oh, just fell out of the blind shooting at these geese. I don't know how much I got of that on camera because it fell off my head, but we just had geese do it at like two yards. I'm going to pick some of them up. We need to uh, turn the motor off, stop the boat, and we shoot them. Uh -huh. We gotta finish them, we need to make sure we stop. We turn the motor off. And we'll shoot them. I think we'll we grab them and just. Yeah. You grab them? So this goose was shooting. actually wounded. No, I don't are, have you held a live goose? He'll eat your face off. So we had to go put the finisher right? shot on him. Had to cut the boat off. Make sure you know your rules and regulations uh, from where you hunt. Uh oh! Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah! You got him. What a giant goose. God, I might should have put him oh, on the yeah, wall. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. That thing was huge, guys. Let's go. I mean, it really was. Heck yeah. All right. Check out Nick's pile up here. Somebody <laughs> take Nick's gun so we can shoot. Anybody got eyes on him? He's on the left side. Let him come in the open area. Watch them, watch them, watch them. All right, now we got a group of canvas bags working us, and this was this was a a perfect opportunity that kind of went to the wayside because they they came straight in on us, but they got high. I think as the sun came up, this was a pitiful excuse of a cane blind that was already sitting there, and then I was using my boat blind in the inside the cane blind. I thought that'd be good enough, but um, the boat blind we found out wasn't really. Uh, blinded in all that good and you could see it pretty good so I think these canvas backs flared because as you can see the sun is up now uh, and they were coming right in at us right in our face um, right into the decoys and then they lifted up about 30 or 40 yards away uh, and we were able to pick one of them off somebody hand me some binoculars We might find it on the way back, you know. I mean, that's our only hope. Let's go back and hunt while the hunting's good. 
So guys, that was it on that one. What, what we did that hunt was we killed three buffalo heads. We shot the goose that you guys saw and then also the Drake canvas back that we couldn't find. It was a great way to start the duck season. We really didn't look back after that. We had a great year and we were off to a great start after this hunt. Guys, stay tuned because I'm going to do a couple more of these. Uh, you're not going to want to miss these again. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give a thumbs up. You're not going to want to miss this duck season, okay? This duck season coming up is going to be the best one yet birds killed and videos created this is going to be the best season yet i'm super excited for it i hope you guys are too so guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel give this video a like drop me a comment uh, tell me something that you're excited about this duck season and i'll see you on the next video